Hello everybody, here we are once again with John Collins from Ace Electrical Training. Out on site doing some on site testing at the King's Head in Litchfield. And what we're doing today, we're using the new range of individual Q-Tech tinkerers. Here we've got the KT400, which is our loop tester. I'll just run you through it quickly. It's got the no trip, so it does it with the ATT method. We can do the loop itself, we can do a high loop, and the high loop will give the decimal point with three digits afterwards, just like the KT65DL. Our standard resolution for live to earth, and then we can do a line to neutral. It does have the facility for doing hands free, and if you look down there, it's got a little polarity test. Now we're doing not a true ZE, we're doing a DB ZE, or ZS if you want to call it that, because it's a sub board. So the board's been isolated. All we're going to simply do is connect on to the, the DBMET. It's got a little magnet connector there, so I'm going to pop that on like so. Turn the instruments on, we're going to do a high loop, okay. As we said, the board's been isolated. So it's onto that neutral, it's a four pole main switch, onto the L1. As you can see there, it does a self check, got a voltage, a little bit low, but it's within tolerance at 222. Press the button, and there we have it, 0 0.57. For the standard, a standard ZE test. If I was to turn it down to the high, or if I knock it back up, we'll see what we get there. So 222 volts. Going to be slightly different to 221 to 222. There we have it, 0 0.563. When you record on your paperwork, though, on your documentation, you don't need to put 0 0.563. Personally, I'd round it up to 0 0.57. It's as simple as that. When you're taking them off, make sure you know you take off the line first, then the neutral, and last but not least, your earth connection. And it's as simple as that. Point to note, though, if you look on there where your fault couldn't there, if I was to press that, It'll give me the fault current, okay? Couldn't do that on a true ZE. You'd have to reconnect the earthing conductor and then do the test separately. But there you have it, folks. Using the new KT QTEC 400, doing a DBZS out on site. Remember, Johnny Ace is on the case.